It's Bob's Two Minute Blitz, star columnist Bob Kravitz's take on what's hot in Indianapolis sports. According to ESPN, 192 people actually had Butler and VCU playing in the national semifinal. I want to know who these people are, okay? I'm guessing they're grandmas who don't even know what VCU stands for. I'm guessing it's some college student who just wrote a paper on famed abolitionist Ovid Butler. If you know anything about college basketball, there's no way you pick Butler and VCU in the national semifinal. Sometimes, though, ignorance is bliss. And so we have these two incredible stories, and the only question is, which one is more remarkable, VCU or Butler? As one writer wrote today, what are these teams going to do, compare slingshots? It's Cinderella's ball. It's the little guy against the little guy. They were talking on the radio Monday about whether that game would get good TV ratings and whether the lack of a number one seed in this NCAA Final Four diminishes the importance of the regular season. Here's my response. I don't care about the ratings. A lot of people watch Celebrity and Preptice, and that doesn't mean, but that doesn't mean it's any good. And no, it does not diminish the importance of the regular season. Why doesn't anybody complain when a 9-7 and seven Arizona Cardinals team gets to the Super Bowl? Or when Green Bay, another wild card team, wins the whole thing? Then we celebrate the fact they're playing the best ball of the season at the right time. Butler and VCU represent everything that's still cool and wonderful about sports. Every season is a journey of discovery and second chances. I still agree with Jay Billis that VCU did not have the resume to make the NCAA tournament, but give them all the credit in the world for doing what they've done. I didn't deserve to find a woman like my wife either, but we've stayed together 20, nearly 21 years. It's how you handle an opportunity. I like Butler on Saturday. I like their experience on the giant stage. I like the fact that Brad Stevens will have a whole week to prepare for VCU's pressing and changing defenses. Call this Deja Blue. I'm Bob Kravitz.